As far as I'm concerned, if the reporters who got this information don't turn these people over and something happens, the blood will be on their hands. That's a comment online from Jacqueline. Here's what she's talking about. A piece written by BuzzFeed News Middle East correspondent Mike Giglio. He reports that ISIS fighters are being smuggled from Turkey to Greece, waiting for direction from ISIS leaders to carry out potential terror attacks. Now, Mike Giglio joins me now via Skype from Istanbul. Mike, how are you? Thank you so much for joining us. Um, what do you think about that yeah. comment that I just read? I think that's a typical comment from a reader. Um, I think anybody who knows about journalism or any authority figure would have a different opinion. I mean, no one in the U.S. government or the Turkish government or anyone has asked for that kind of information from me, and I, I doubt they will. And just to be clear, you did reach out to the U.S. government, correct? And they say there's, they have no evidence of this happening, but they're not necessarily saying it's not happening. Right, but they, but they did. They were pretty clear. They have no intelligence that this is happening. Okay. Um, that was a comment I got okay. from the State Department. So what do you believe motivated your source to talk to you about this? You know, um, as I put in the article, he is uh, an ISIS supporter, mm -hmm. uh, this smuggler who, who says that he has brought these fighters uh, to Europe disguised as refugees. Um, but I think he had second thoughts. Um, and, you know, he, he told me that he was very fine with the idea of uh, ISIS fighters going to Europe and launching attacks against government targets. But uh, when it came to civilian casualties, um, he was worried. And uh, he started to have second thoughts, and I think he, uh, he sort of realized he might be making a dangerous mistake, and he cut off all contact with the group. Now, and I know that your source also said that he, he actually does believe in the ISIS mission. Is that correct? Yeah, he does. And did he give you any motivation as to why? You know, he, uh, he's against American involvement in uh, the Middle East and Iraq uh, previously, and he mm -hmm. also sees the U.S. government as uh, being part of the problem in Syria right now. Um, and I think he's also just, frankly, influenced by ISIS propaganda, and he's, uh, you know, he, he, was, he sees as the piety of the, of the fighters, um, and he's, uh, he just, he, he, he backs the group. You know, Mike, uh, we all know how, how dangerous it is for journalists over there, especially that are reporting on stories like this one. Um, how, do, how is it that you're, you're sort of, you know, making your way through this story, um, knowing the dangers that you face? You know, I think, you know, this guy, I was able to meet him in a, in a cafe. Uh, I, you know, I didn't feel like there's any risk to me doing that. You know, I thought there was considerable risk to him uh, for speaking to me. Um, you know, if, if this story is true, and we, we've tried to, to say, you know, this is the account of this one smuggler and an additional smuggler. Right. Um, but like you said, the U.S. Right. has no intelligence to support this. But if it is true, um, and, you know, ISIS were to find out that he did come out uh, and speak to the press about this, I mean, he, I, I could tell from his... Uh, you know, the way he approached me, that he sort of saw this as a warning about ISIS plans or what he thought ISIS plans were. You know, if ISIS were to find that out, then I think he would be in danger from the group. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Um, you know, you wrote another article, um, and we don't have a lot of time left, but I quickly want to touch on it, about um, oil being smuggled from Syria into Turkey, uh, making at times for ISIS up to a million dollars a day. So are these guys that you spoke to that are, op that are operating sort of this oil exchange, this oil smuggling, are they operating on fear? Do they believe in the ISIS cause? Is it for money? What's it for? So uh, the $1 million figure, that's total uh, ISIS oil sales to the regime in Syria and to Iraq and then also to Turkey. And okay. the people I spoke to okay. were the smugglers in Turkey. Mm -hmm. um, and they were Syrians mm -hmm. and uh, they were motivated by profit. Um, but one of the reasons that they also spoke out to me and, and allowed me to see the operation up close was that I think that they felt uh, guilty as well. They, they knew that this operation is funding ISIS. They don't support ISIS, and they also knew that it was hurting the country, uh, stealing a very important uh, natural resource from the people who needed it. Mike Giglio, um, I'm so sorry we don't have more time with you because I could talk for a very long time about this. But I appreciate the work that you're doing over there. I thank you for talking to us today. Yeah, thanks for having me.